Last time on... Danganronpa. Makoto, why are you staring off into space? Don't you have a rebuttal for Kyoko's claim? There has to be some secret here, something that has to do with the mastermind trap that Kyoko mentioned. But of course I have an alibi. From nighttime on, I was with you guys the entire time. First of all, there's something off about this entire trial. You all see it, don't you? Okay, time's up! What do you mean, time's up? There's no time's up. Since when have we- <sighs> Sorry, man. Fuck you, I thought I was your damn friend! No, sorry. Oh, go jump in a lake, cow! <laughs> it's all your fault. Oh, shove, I hope Yakia chokes you. And you can go screw yourself! Traitor, Kyoko! Traitor. I trusted you! Go! I don't expect you to forgive me. I know this is all my fault. Kyoko? Let's give it everything we've got! It's punishment time! Um, hey, what's that? This is Alter Ego! Wait, wait, go through pit in a way that's even better special punishment! What an awful smell! This must be some kind of underground garbage pit. Yeah, out here isn't gonna be that easy. There's plenty of food here, but it's all rotten. Okay, be sure which liquids I can drink and which ones are an all around bad idea. Probably all of them because it's in. I'm locked in on all sides. Did something fall down over there? Did a giant piece of trash just fell, fall down here? Giant piece of trash. Rude. Um, you got a bit of garbage in your hair. How'd you come to rescue me besides owing me? So... I need that. Or no. Which one? That's right. I think too. When I woke up, I have a strange feeling of separation with myself. Just me. That being said, there is a limit to what I can do by myself. Which is why I asked you to help me. But why me? Because, among everyone, you're the least likely to be the mastermind. That was just intuition, but... Hey. Even now, I still trust you, you know? It's just, I'm not used to relying on others. Hey. My ability, but everyone should have known me for. I'm the ultimate detective. You had to find someone! Who? So... Well... It was the headmaster of Hope's Peak Academy. Because... He's my father. I said the headmaster wasn't the mastermind. But I didn't say that to protect him. I only said what I felt based on what I'd seen when I snuck into the headmaster's room. It's the layout of the entirety of Hope's Peak Academy. I found it in the headmaster's room. Along with Mukuro's profile in that key, whatever's going on in this school is more horrific than we ever imagined. I saw that key and disappeared, and in retaliation they wanted to draw me out and eliminate me. I can hear them, you know. The footsteps of the god of death. I can hear the god of death as he moves. That ability naturally draws me into cases just like this. We needed the class trial to kill me. But seemed ready to kill you in your in your room. Everything they did is a contradiction. Hello, everyone. We're back with another episode of Danganronpa, and we're in Chapter Six. So let's go with the extras. We got the event gallery right here. Let's see what we got. We're almost done with the scenes, and well, we did get a missable scene. I still haven't figured out which one was the the third missable. But yeah, you can tell that we got all the way up to the alternate ending. And we got all this to do. Lovely, right? And then we got also the Monokuma Theaters right here all for us. Hmm. Movie gallery, let's check that out real quick. We're very close on movies. We got one punishment to go. You can see we got both punishments. You can see in the background the difference between the two of them. NBC Universe of Japan can't. There was a result screen. Makuma, we got one one left, and we got two at the end. And we get the sound gallery, and by the way, this is a redubbing of the opening because of some things. 
this. I'm actually redoing this part. Right here, we got all the class trials and everything still. We're missing two songs, and we'll find them out later. But I'm going to go into live commentary as soon as we start this episode, and we're ready to go. So let's do this. Character, five, character 6, start! The ultimate despair? A group of people caused a tragedy one year ago. The same people put together this killing game and began broadcasting it around the world. The most desperately awful group of people ever. That is the mass of my true identity. Our enemy has been finally has finally been revealed. But right now, anyway, right now we have to get out of this horrible place. Figure out the rest of the story to come after. Yeah, you're right. Yoko, do you saw that one thing? Makuma secret tool that you got from the headmaster's room? Indeed. Of course I do. It's an absolutely vile part of it ensnaring the mastermind. I would never part with it. You can open any door in the school, right? That's right. Thank you, game. Then we should be able to use it on that door, right? Hey, Kyoko, you can use that key of yours to open this door, right? It's true. Let's find out. Kyoko took out the key with the Makuma design on it and slid it into the keyhole. And then... Yes! It opened! Indeed. And now you can get out of here. Let's go. Sounds good! We quickly opened the door and made our escape from the garbage pit. Finally! We were finally free! But there wasn't even time to take a breath of relief! Because the real fight had just begun! Ultimate pain, ultimate suffering, ultimate despair, ultimate execution, ultimate death, chapter 6. Deadly life. That's right, there is no daily life here, it's only deadly and we missed the ding and rompa, but that's fine. After leaving the garbage pit, we found ourselves in a tunnel extending straight up like a chimney. Like a chimney. There's a metal ladder leading up into the tunnel. We started climbing up the ladder and on reaching the surface. Cone would just like to announce, nice angle. The ladder was impossibly long, I couldn't even see where it ended. We climbed into, into darkness. Wouldn't have been better to do a top-down view here. The passage was so dark and cramped, I couldn't even see my own feet beneath me. I had no idea we were so far down. Hey. Don't lose your footing. If you slip, I won't be able to catch you. Yeah, I'll be careful. But now that you said that, I'm getting kind of nervous. Me talking will help keep my mind off it. Um, so Kyoko, there's something I wanted to ask you. You said you were the ultimate detective, right? So how long have you been doing detective work? How long? So... Ever since I can remember. That's a long time. I come from a long line of detectives. Detective work is in my blood. There was a time when being a detective was considered a sacred duty. My family's always seen it that way. Then, is your family famous? Wrong. Quite the opposite, actually. Even among actual detectives, many people haven't heard of us. Huh? But how come? It's like your family tradition, right? So... Right. Because we take pride in it. Pride? Indeed. The detective is neither light nor shadow. We represent neither justice nor evil. That is how we can uncover the absolute truth. We stand neutral in all things, and to do that, we have to stand separate from the rest of society. Which is why we maintain a conscious effort to conceal our existence. Wow. A conscious effort? It's, it's true. kind of old-fashioned, and I can't say it's entirely rational. But it's our family creed, and we do what we must to protect it. Because, like I said, it's our source of pride. Pride. So that explains... Before I came here, when I was looking up the info about the school online, I never saw anything about her. Because she hid herself on purpose to protect the pride of her family. However... And yet... I gave up some of that pride. Huh? 
I... In order to enter Hope's Peak, I had to reveal myself to the school. I did it knowing that it was something a true Kirigiri detective would never do. But the reason he gave up that pride... The reason he would go so far to enter Hope's Peak? It was because that's how much you wanted to reconnect with your dad, right? There's no shame in that. Uh-oh. What? Reconnect? I had absolutely no desire to reconnect with my father. Huh? But you'd be reuniting after all those years, right? You'd have so much to talk about. Wrong. There's nothing I want to talk to my father about. However... There's something I want to say to him, though. What? I... No matter what it takes, I have to find him and tell him face to face. What? What is it? So... I want to sever all ties with him. Sever? The last time I saw him, I was still very young. So I don't remember myself, but apparently he was extremely intelligent. He was in the line to become the next head of the Kirigiri family. He was talented. He had a promising However, future, but he had no interest in detective work. So he cut himself off from the family. Not long after that, my mother died, and he simply ran away. He went to my grandfather, and they had a huge argument, and as young as I was, he left me behind. I I'm sure there's a reason for that. I'm sure your dad wanted to take you with him. Right. If that's true, then I need to thank him. Thank him for leaving me. Because unlike him, I take pride in the work I do. I take pride in my family name. So every last part of me is happy he didn't take me with him. If I'd gone with him, I never would have had the chance to become a detective. I was above Kyoko on the ladder, so I wasn't able to see her expression, you know I wouldn't see it anyway, so I couldn't tell. I couldn't see how she looked when she said that, what she might have been feeling. I could tell as I compared to her usual self. She was more talkative. And more emotional. I... I don't blame him, you know. He had his own life to live. That's what anyone in my position might say, right? But it's not true. However... But there's one thing. One thing I can never forgive. Really? So... The way everyone else looked at me. I was never sad about being left behind. Like I said, I think it was a good thing. However, but when the rest of my family looked at me, they saw something different. They only saw me as a little girl that was abandoned by her father. That's how they see me, even to this day. I... The shadow had been following me my entire life. I'm sick of it. I need him out of my life. I need to st step out of the shadow. Correct. That's why I have to find him and tell him we're no longer family. In order to settle the past. In order to remove him from my life forever. Dang. I have no doubt he forgot about me years ago. But your family did just come out like that. Wrong. Our only connection is through blood. Nothing more. Are we connected by heart and soul? No. Hey. Is blood really enough to call someone family? Only connected by blood, not by heart or soul? I was so shocked to hear today something like that, I didn't know how to respond. So instead... Okay, I did get everything. Good. Just wanted to make sure. I said nothing. I just get to climb the ladder in complete silence. And after I don't know how long, we finally reach the top. Looks like this is it. Indeed. On the other side of this door, Host Peak is waiting for us. We're back! That's Remember right. that hatch on the ground near the crash room? I'm fairly certain that's where we'll come out. I hope you're right. I unlocked it earlier, so we should open without much trouble. It better. Well, here goes nothing. I reach my right hand up and push against the hatch. The hatch opened with ease, and so... 
freedom! Looks like we're back! A dinosaur story. <sighs> I can't believe how long that ladder took. Was, I'm exhausted. Can't exactly say we're saving Sam, but at least we're out of he out of there. Now we're back in Hope Speak Academy. Kyoko, thank you. I never would have gotten out of there without you. Who <laughs> thinks necessary? I'm just returning the favor. Well, I want to return the favor to you later. It's a switch that raises and lowers the gate. I don't have the key to open it. We never did set that clean duty rotation. But it doesn't matter. We got three more coins. Kyoko, let's go take a walk together, okay? So now what do we do? I'm glad I didn't die, of course, but the mastermind finds out. And I'm worried about you, too. You helped me so they might... Listen. You're worried? Yeah, of course. I love you. So why wouldn't I be? So then. Let's just get a concrete answer. Huh? Let's ask words. Monokuma if there's a problem with you escaping. Wait, that's... However. If we try to hide, it's only a matter of time till we're found out. It's not like we can run away. As she said that, she pointed at a nearby surveillance camera. So you think rather than stressing out over getting caught, would you just give up now? Don't worry. What you think is going to happen isn't. Because... Because the mastermind is the one that's ensnared. The mastermind is ensnared? You said something like that before. What does it mean? So... The mastermind stood exposed during the investigation to Mukuro's death. Mukuro's death. There's a moment where the mastermind let their guard down. There was... If we can talk to Monokuma, we can confirm it. it will be better for us if we go to him directly before he tracks us down. That should help with our negotiations. I'm still a little... No, super uneasy about this. We don't really have a choice, do we? Indeed. Monokuma should be in the gym. Shall let's we get go? going. And let's just check in the hatch. This is how we got out of the garbage pit. I never would imagine that's where this led. Then we didn't jump on the hatch or anything. Yeah. Then we can't just walk down there. That would be just terrible. Take one bad step and go wee in the splat. That would be embarrassing. Ah, back in Hope's Peak, back in the area. And there's where we probably will be going next. I think. Maybe. Uh, that's amazing. I just got the list from Audio Guy and loaded up on where the coins are. Besides the one trash, because, well, that was an easy guess. Shall we go? We can't go anywhere at the moment besides the bathhouse, so we might as well get going. Mm -hmm. Luckily, we can easily go there with a little bit of warping. Warping, and right here. Okay, here's the gym. Nice and safe, nice and toasty. Let's go. Right in! Hey, 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 hey! Yoko, I don't mind so much! But Makara's supposed to be dead! What's he doing here? Hi. That's exactly how I thought he'd react. Are we really gonna be okay, or does he need a tissue? Or a diaper? You're supposed to be punished! Did Kyoko help you? What? So what if I did? What will you do? If the guilty party is exposed during the class trial, they alone will be executed. It's unfortunate, but that is the rule. So now I gotta punch you again, and this time I won't leave anything to chance! K Kyoko! Right. Do whatever you feel you have to. What? But before you do, let me just say one thing. No, if you execute Makoto, yeah. that means you lose. Not that that matters to you, right? Uh -huh. I lose? Hey. You! Explain yourself! What do you mean by that? Because... Well, you set up this latest class trial yourself, right? I was getting in your way, so you want an excuse to kill me. 
I was supposed words. to be chosen as a blackened and then executed, right? Yeah. Hey, what are you talking about? However, but when Makoto chose to overlook my lie, your plan came crashing down. The results of the trial weren't at all what you were expecting. Because you never imagined in that position, one person would take another like that. Right. And in response to that unexpected development, Indeed. you reacted by proclaiming Makoto the Black and trying to execute him. You made the choice out of desperation. No, more than that. You must have realized that Makoto, who refused to be manipulated, was a threat to you as well. However, but then there was another unexpected development waiting for you. An entity that had a wrench, so to speak, in your precious, precious execution machinery. Alter, alter ego! You never imagined the possibility of being that to come to our aid. Even after you killed it. Am now I here's wrong? the absolute truth. This is gonna get good. Makoto didn't kill Makuro. You did. So asking Makoto for it would surely be a violation of your rules, which I know you love so much. If the black and is exposed, they alone will be executed. That's what you told us, right? Mm, and that means I lose? You talk a big game? You think the black and is me and not Makoto? Well. And you can prove this, right? Yes. Well. No, I can't. Don't just say it like that! What is this, a comedy routine? Makes this bold claims a shred of evidence? That I don't have matter. any right now. With a little more time, I can guarantee I'll find some. That's right. Because no matter how deeply you try to bury it, there's only ever one absolute truth. Oh and now you're trying to talk like some kind of famous detective type? Because... If Makoto really was the killer, he never would have come willingly like this. He would have feared for his life, he had another execution. You would have tried to run and hide. You would have been gripped by despair you so love to inspire. However, but here we are, in front of you with nothing but hope in our hearts. And that's supposed to be enough to convince me in the absence of evidence! Indeed. It's not you I'm trying to convince. Hey. If you were to execute Makoto now, everyone out there watching this would be extremely displeased. Huh? Oh, he got, she Indeed. got her. Yeah. I thought everyone out there would think if you killed Makoto. They would assume that you killed him because what we said is exactly right. Listen to Despair me. could never kill Hope. Yeah. Hey. Of course, you can say you were just making this all up. You're welcome to prove us wrong. No, you have no choice but to prove it. Because if you kill Makoto without proving your own innocence, you'll be accepting your own defeat. If you want to earn our despair fair and square, That's then I suggest you do. take my advice. So, what is this advice of yours? It's to true. do Mukuro's trial over again. Only this time, you don't follow, you follow the school regulations to ensure a fair trial. It's time for one last showdown. One final, one final battle between hope and despair. Thank you! Hey. Well, that made for a proper climax, wouldn't you say? Fair trial, one less showdown, in other words. This would be our chance to expose the Troy Day and Mukro's killer of the mastermind themselves. But what reason would the mastermind have to accept the challenge? <laughs> They'll probably just execute me without another word. <laughs> <laughs> interesting! Barrett! Very interesting indeed! Barry? Barry? What's wrong? Oh, I was getting bored, so I decided to change things up a little. It's no time for bear jokes! Now, what you suggest it might be possible, it's only made for one honey of a climax! In Is other that words. you accept? Knock it off with a bear nice. pun, sir! If we do things your way, if we do things your way, that'll be enough to convince you and the viewers, right? It'll cause you unbearable despair, right? I'm prepared to agree to your terms! <laughs> will your hope win out, or will my despair claim victory? I can Let's have one final myself. grizzly showdown! He agreed. 
We still have a shot at this. But this is a long away climax, right? This case in the killer is barely a fitting end. So let's not face off, you'll have to unearth off all the mysteries that have been buried here. All the mysteries. That's right, every last mystery is pawing around the school. If you can do that, then they'll be able to qualify as a victory for you. It's true. That's what we've been trying to do all along. Okay, well good, then let's bear it all. If you can claw your way to the truth of Mukro's death and solve the mysteries of this school, you then you win! But if you can't do all of that, we'll all face execution, right? Hee <laughs> <laughs> I can barely contain my excitement! When you learn the whole truth, what kind of despair will you show me? <laughs> I'm excited you are, I'm sure. Listen We've to me. We've heard every last truth. How will the ultimate despair reveal their own despair? I honestly can't believe how this all turned out. Hey. But before we get started, I want to clarify one more thing. Do you remember the rule? When one student kills another, that's when a class trial is held. What's wrong? I remember that for, sh for sure, so what? Hey. Oh, I just want to confirm, that is what you said, right? And it's a true statement? <laughs> you don't have to be so super suspicious! I said it before, but it bears repeating! Everything is based on the school regulations! And having a trial for Mukuro is no exception to that! Huh? Mukuro's trial is no exception? That's part of the regulations? Which would have to mean that whoever killed Mukuro? <laughs> it's a very polarizing approach, I know! Okay, enough puns! Anyway, here's a hit! I'm sure I told you this already, but... This killing game began with 60 participants, all of them high school students! And the only people to take a single step in Hope's Peak since the killing game began... Are those 16 students? What? Listen. Are you telling the truth? Why do you go quiet all of a sudden? No, I'm done I'm talking! Ready. I got nothing left to say to you! Jerk. So get lost, would ya? Why so mad? Why so serious? This seems emotionally unstable. Leave me alone! Get out of here! Okay, I'm going, I just... You really gonna let me go? Hmm, I don't even care anymore! You're all gonna get your punishment later anyway! I need to start getting it ready! A super duper extra special punishment overflowing with despair! <laughs> Go boy. Hey, come on, Makoto. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> My Kuma's unstable laughter seemed to cling to us as we walked away. <laughs> it is like that, we were out of the gym. I think he corrupted. I could hardly believe it, but somehow I ended up not getting executed. I still had my life, and we still had a chance. Overall, things turned out way better than expected. Paying for your thoughts? Once again, I was in Kyoko's debt. Are we really in debt, or are you in love? Kyoko, thank you. Everything I have right now is because of you. However, don't thank me just yet. The real battle is still ahead of us. Yeah, true. But still, I'm glad it worked out. I wasn't sure if the enemy would accept my proposal. But honestly, why would the mess I agree to that? I mean, they don't stand to gain anything from a final showdown, do they? So... They had no choice but to accept. Huh? Because... It's all because of that one moment that the mess might let down their guard, like I said. I feel like we trapped him in like, the chess game. So what was it the mass when was it the mastermind let the guard down? So... I wasn't there to hear it myself, but do you remember what the mastermind said? They said that they had hijacked the airways to broadcast our school like the outside world, right? Yeah yeah, they definitely said that. How did you know? Listen. And what did you think they when you heard that? Pretty hard to believe, right? 
Well, I mean, the idea of actually talking over the airway seems so unbelievable. Indeed. You don't exactly read about something like that happening very often, so it's hard to imagine. In other words, that's the kind of thing extremely difficult to pull However, off, and yet somehow the mastermind was able to do it. In other words, think of it another way. There must have been some reason they had to do something that difficult. A reason? So... They had to show the world something, no matter the cost, us killing each other. They wanted to show the world? It the Mastermind seem... has been very adamant about not killing us directly, but forcing us to kill each other. And all their rules and regulations were designed to encourage that. Yeah, that makes sense. If those two regulations didn't exist, nobody would have killed anybody! So the Mastermind's ultimate goal was to make us kill each other and show that off to the world. But why? Correct. To prove a point, most likely. Prove a point? Hey. The outside world has a name for the students of Hoax Peak, right? A certain concept. We're talking about hope, right? That's and for right. those of us who represent hope, to kill each other and sink into despair. The mastermind wants the world to see that. To try and prove that despair is better than hope. That's their goal, as the ultimate despair. What? You want to prove that despair is better than hope? But, but that that's ridiculous! It's true. You're right, it is ridiculous. Completely irrational. It's the kind of thing that nobody but those who would call themselves the ultimate despair would devise. The, that group whose only purpose and motivation comes from despair. But isn't that their only reason? Is that their only reason for making the rest of us suffer? You know how angry it must make you, and yet. That same motivation is what led to the mastermind revealing their weakness. What? In other words. Because their goal is to broadcast this killing game to the world. Mastermind has to be more than particular than it is reasonable about their own regulations. If Mastermind simply ignored their rules, this won't have been a game, but a one-sided slaughter. At the very at, least. At least that's how those who are watching this would have seen it. And that's why the mas and that's why the Mastermind couldn't kill any of us themselves! Indeed. That's precisely the reason. No matter how much they may hate what I'm doing, I haven't violated a single one of their regulations. Junko broke the rules, so she was punished. But in my case, they couldn't lay a finger on me. She's got a point! And Junko has several! Right. So instead, they tried to use a class trial, following all their proper rules to get me killed. I began a trial that didn't have a right answer. That made me out to be the killer. But even that didn't work! It's yes, true. thanks to you. And due to that failure, the Mastermind took yet another risk. They attempted to kill you instead, who also was not the killer. And when that fact was supposed to lie TV to the entire RSI world, Mastermind had to accept your suggestion? Indeed. To prove to the world that despair is better than hope, they had to defeat us in perfect form. In other words... It only due to the Mastermind harm to have it shown that they violated their own regulations. But all that was a hunch, right? And you were still able to get the Mastermind to accept your challenge? However... Well, it's only thanks to you that we got that chance. Because you believed in me, another path opened up. So I can't believe how much of the Mastermind's thoughts and plans you were able to figure out. I didn't have the slightest clue! Wrong. In the end, no, I couldn't prove any of it. I was just my reasoning. Essentially, I was making a bet. <sighs> it looks like I got it right this time. At least I won the bet. She a quick sigh, I took it as a small sign of relief. To be honest, <laughs> I hadn't been that nervous in a long time. I totally couldn't tell you were nervous at all. You seemed totally confident from the moment we decided to go talk to him. <laughs> well, presenting a strong demeanor is a fundamental part of negotiation and persuasion, wouldn't you say? Unless if I show my uneasiness, that would have just made you that much more uneasy. Yeah, you're probably right. How pathetic. However, anyway, we can't relax just yet. All we've done is earn another chance to fight. We have to win this time. Correct. Or everything we've gone through will have been for nothing. You're right. If we can't defeat the Mastermind, it'll cost us our lives. There's no option except to win! Hey. But before we begin the final battle, we have to tell the others what's going on. True, but now we know who our real enemy is. All we have to do now is work together with everyone to destroy the Mastermind. Work together with everyone. Is However, that really possible? Huh? 
Anyway, anyway right now we have to go find the others. Shall we go? in the dorm somewhere. Shall we go? I have a feeling I know where they are. I have a feeling I definitely know where they are, except for you, Kyoku, who's with me that I care for so much. I have a feeling they're probably in the dining hall. Shall we go? Hand in hand. And let's go visit all our friends, shall we? And so begins the final battle. Let's do this. And so another episode has come to an end. It's interesting how the mastermind had to now try to trap us, but ended up failing. I wonder what the ratings are now on this show that he's been broadcasting. I bet they took a bigger hit than, well, other shows recently that have either been coming back or have been on the poop pile for a while. But yeah, that's what happens when you start messing with the formula a little bit. Either way, let's get in this episode, and the next one we're actually going to start the chapter. So I hope you have fun, and I'll see you on the next one. See you then.